Greetings everyone and welcome into the hourglass. So it is around three o'clock, 3 a.m. <laughs> Friday. You know, it's Virgo season. Happy birthday to the Virgos. So we're going to see what messages we could pull out tonight. It may or may not resonate with you and that's okay. You're still welcome to stay tuned. To hang in there. We have inspired. So some of you or this person, take it how it resonates. Somebody may be really stimulated right now. They could be up all night or they're up tonight. You know, artists are those that are up at night. Some of you could be night owls and you get expired, inspired, <laughs> expired. You get inspired by the nighttime, by, you know, the silence, by the stillness of the night. I feel the rhythm of the night. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see what's going on. We have peaceful, yeah. I feel like a lot of you tonight may be very inspired by the energy of, could be the moon as well, but I feel like it's really still and peaceful and it's washing this calmness over you. So you're very inspired to write. I'm seeing somebody in the manifest manifestation journal here as well. Someone could be painting or they're reminiscing on, um, where they were at earlier, how the wind was blowing. So somebody's at peace right now. Somebody's at peace right now. And that's beautiful. That's a beautiful energy because that means they're flowing. They're vibrating really high as well. So let's see what's going on. Let's see. Let's see. get the real, the real, the real tea out here, right? The real tea. <laughs> we have angry. Okay. So some of you may be angry, right? And you're trying to get into this calm energy. Or this could be someone that's very aware of their anger, their madness, and they're really dedicated in having a peace of mind right now. There's some confusion here. And somebody's just really trying to take their mind off of it. Wow, we have hateful and jealous. Wow, that took a big turn. So... We have resistance. So some of you may have moved on from a person. Uh, maybe you kind of cut your losses or you have, you know, redirect your energy elsewhere, back on yourself, back on life. And you know what? The tables may have turned here because somebody's very jealous and hateful right now. I'm hearing, I just hate that thing. Who is, what is that? So somebody could be watching you or... This could be somebody, your neighbor as well, kind of nosy, kind of jealous of you as well. So be aware of that. We're about to bust on the tarot and see what is this about? Somebody, you, you maybe broke somebody's heart by moving on or somebody broke your heart by moving on. Oh, you know what? It's going to be okay. All right. We have the three of wands. So somebody's waiting or, you know, somebody's very suspicious. Hey. They hate waiting. I'm like, I'm hate, I hate waiting. <laughs> I'm so mad I have to wait, right? Now that I'm waiting, I'm getting suspicious. What is my boo-boo doing? Oh, you answering your calls? You're not calling me? Listen, somebody may be like, I know this is like the 2020 vision card, but somebody may be just creating nonsense in their mind because they're so angry. They're closed off. They're rebelling. They're like not wanting to, I guess, bother you or come at you. Hey, like what's going on? Some of you, this person may feel like you're spiting them or somebody's spiting you. Somebody's trying to make you jealous because you're at peace now. You're like, please. Oh, you about a year late with all of that madness, right? Trying to get you all hot on butter. It could be a fire sign. I saw the king of wands. Yeah, it could be a fire sign. This person misses you, I bet. They're like mad because you're not paying attention. So they're, you know, their ego is like, I'm not going to call you first. You, you, you call me. <laughs> could be a Leo, a Leo female or a Leo lady. Dang, it's like, maybe you guys been doing this for some time because we have like multiple hearts here. So I don't know if you guys be like dating other people just to get back at the other person and you know, you really figure out, you really care, but somebody's like resisting you. This is like double confirmation of not coming towards your way. 
Like, I have too much pride. You see how that lion going on? Uh -huh. It's like a big softie, though. Somebody's a big softie. The both of your big softies. Some of you, I'm seeing like a smearing campaign. Oh, my gosh. Somebody have somebody watching you. <gasps> Somebody's watching you for someone else. This person has a lot of pride. They would pay people to watch you from different accounts or even in your neighborhood. They have someone that lives in your neighborhood that's watching you. Coming back, telling this person. We have the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune. So this person may feel like you guys is his destiny. It's like, unhand my destiny, right? <laughs> I feel like you guys were fated to meet and this person resisted um, doing things or moving things along with you. And now it's like they feel like they're falling from grace or with a wheel of fortune. Hmm. You're at peace. I feel like the tables turn and now this person is where you were once were. Oh my goodness, we have justice, yeah. Somebody got what they deserve. And you're at peace, or you're getting what you deserve, and you're, you're at peace. This could also be that somebody won a, a court case, a ruling, and the other person is like really vengeful right now. So, yeah, I don't know. This person could be in law enforcement, or they have some sort of links head. They have some way of like watching you. They feel like, I don't know, they're trying to get revenge or this is some sort of revenge back and forth with the justice. Wow, this could also feel like some of you, um, this person knew you was not going to settle and this is why they were resisting you and you probably got fed up or tired and you're moving on, you're at peace, you're inspired or somebody's inspiring you. Uh, new love and emotions um, or something to that effect or I don't know. It could. It, it doesn't even have to be that serious, but I feel like you may be inspired to date someone in law or date someone that knows your, your worth with the justice card. Maybe a Libra energy, or they feel like it's just, they're like, okay, well, you're moving on. I guess that's, that's fine, but they're still jealous. They're still kind of like mad. They're probably like, shit. Why do I even fucking care? But they care, right? Wow, I feel like things are being balanced. We have judgment. This was some heavy karma. This person may be coming to this big awareness, a new awareness that they messed up their destiny. Oh, shit. You get what you deserve. This person wants you to, they want to call you or they want you to call them. I feel like for some of you, this person has a lot of suspicion here. Huh? Some of you been called. I feel like the cosmic courts made a ruling over the situation and you were called to get in a place of following your morals and your values to stand firm on what you believe in, what you know you deserve. Some of you got that call. Some of you got that call and they told you, listen, things are in your favor. Boom. Somebody mad jealous around you. Better not be your little girlfriend. Your little, your little sister. That might say sis. <laughs> Bruh, right? Always be the ones that's closest to you. Anyway, judgment is had. Justice is had. The wheel of fortune. Somebody's getting what they deserve, all right? We have the two of swords. Somebody's trying to uh, ignore this ruling or this decision or this calling to, to do something very vengeful. I feel that as well with the, judge, the judgment ca card. I feel like somebody's phone is going to ring. You guys, I don't even know what time it is right now. Oh, my gosh. It's like late. I'm trying to whisper. We have the Hierophant. This is some major energy going on. All major arcana. Yeah, I feel like... With the world, listen, the world has ended for someone. This is the last days. Oh my goodness, this is like really biblical stuff. With the Hierophant energy, 
This person may be telling other people in their family what happened. This, you could have been married to this person with a horrifying. Or this person thought that you guys had a solid relationship or bond. Oh, this is a deep spiritual lesson with the Harafan and Justice. This is a deep spiritual lesson for someone. Oh my gosh. Something about faith. We have the star. Listen, we have Taurus energy. We have Aquarius. We have a lot of fixed energy. Somebody learned the hard way because they were unable to make a decision or they were unable to stand on a decision. This person may also feel like it's unfinished business with you. Um, I do feel on a different note that someone thought in some ways that you were dedicated to them and they would never thought that you was going to leave them hanging with the hangman energy. Some of you hopped into this Sagittarian energy and you decided to unfuck yourself, untwangle yourself, untwine yourself from this person and you found peace some of you this your life or your world or this person's life is turned upside down right now they feel like they're got they're getting the beginning they didn't want and with the hangman's energy it feels like they want Something is not going anywhere or this person is not going anywhere. My hands are tied. This could have been what somebody was telling you or they're resistant to, to come at you really hard. They're like ignoring some sort of guidance or what they have to do with the star. It's like they're getting a lot of guidance on what to do on the situation and they want it, they're ignoring it. They could even be making up excuses, creating the stalemate energy by resisting coming towards you. So this person, it's like two different stories. This person could be feeling very suspicious of you because they're really holding back. They're not giving any direction. They're really holding back, ignoring you for some or ignoring what they know they need to do to heal a situation or to mend the situation with you. And in that time, they're like making up these stories that you're with someone else. And that's why you're not coming towards them. It feels like some taboo energy here as well with the uh, Harafant. It's like two-faced. Oh, somebody got punished for, for something that they were doing child it's like they had a lot of opportunity they had the world in their hands and they they look like they dropped it this is some major energy somebody's like very stubborn here very very stubborn could be an aquarius with a sagittarius energy doesn't have to be Wow, this is a major karmic debt was paid. And I feel like somebody got what they deserve. Somebody else got the second party got what they deserve. One person is at peace. The other is not. Uh, it was karma. It was fairness. If this person had, had took responsibility in the beginning, I feel like things would have been different. But they were sitting on the fence for a long time. They probably didn't have any faith or hope. Uh, and not telling you that, kind of like being critical all the time or being very unfair. I feel like somebody's heart and mind is at balance right now. They got this wisdom with the horror font and they got their faith back. So it feels like two different groups or this is going to be if you're in that energy of feeling very hurtful or angry i feel like you're going to move out of that but it's like you have to do you have to see from a different perspective why things uh played out the way it did it's like you it's like it could be something about a bad commitment here or a bad contract with 
supposed to be trustworthy partners in a horrifying energy. There was some sort of unfairness. This could even feel like corruption in the law or in the justice system for someone. Wow, this person feels like they were done wrong. We have the um, hangman that's just pulling towards me. This could be something with uh, jail time as well. Or um, this person may feel like you're judging with the judgment card. You may be judging, misjudging the situation or misjudging the stagnancy. I don't know. Somebody's like they're trying to... Um, it's almost like they tried to change the script here on why things were not going anywhere. And somebody else kind of... Somebody may have did a cord cut in here with the two of swords and the star. Some of you may have just decided to cut your losses and you got back out there. We have the lovers. Oh my gosh. This person was resisting this soulmate energy. Or it could be it was just a very high level, a high caliber uh, relationship. You are very important to this person, I must say. Or you, you guys were important to each other once upon a time. This person may have been waiting too long or they waited too long. Resistance and the hangman's energy. Wow. They played some waiting game and the out they didn't expect this outcome of possibly you leaving or you resisting as well. Oh my gosh. Some of you, this person with the lovers and the hangman and the star. Peep this, you guys. This person may have a very strong psychic connection to you. I feel like this person maybe finding out information, horrifying. They have somebody that conspires with them and this information with you. I feel like something reversed with the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like the roles reversed here. The game, the tables turn, and this person is possibly obsessed with proving a point. They feel like you misjudged or they got unfair um, outcome or justice. Hey, I got the, the phrase, no rules, no rules. I keep getting, I got the whole world. No, he got the whole world in his hand, right? He got the whole world in his hands. I keep hearing the song, keep going, keep going. All right, so with the lover's energy, I feel like I'm going to have mercy on me. So somebody may want your mercy. Some of you with the lover's energy, this, you guys' choices and values were not on the same playing field. You guys could have had a sexual relationship or um, your personal beliefs kind of like wedged you guys repel this person from you horrifying with the lovers this could be that you guys had like really strong um relationship values or expectations well, you know what you were you wasn't going to settle with the justice card or this is your attitude this is the role you're playing some of you this could have been bad choices and there were a little infidelity here not little but there was infidelity Somebody may have called you and told you about this person trying to be messy or vice versa. Some of you, um, this person was non-committal, and this is why they created stagnation because they uh, there was a strong att att uh, attraction. but this person was resisting you. I feel like they thought you were like some sort of temptation. Or this could be another person in the mix. They're trying to, they're trying to pull away from someone that they may have been very physical with, and now kind of feeling like angry and mad, feeling like that was a poor decision or poor choice to make, made out of possibly separation or conflict, or just being upset, wanting revenge. So they went and did something else with a third party. I feel like your person is on, 
this crossroad, hey, of wanting to kind of like ignore what's going on with you or their suspicions or come towards you and try to heal this somehow with the hangman energy. Okay, so let's get some channel messages and see what's going on. This is crazy. What time is it? Oh my gosh, what time is it? Hold on. It's 3.05, you guys. What? We we ramping tonight. <laughs> we ramping. This is really big stuff, though. It says, it's taken longer than I thought it would. P passionate patience. Okay, so... Hmm. For some of you, this person is really holding back from coming towards you and it's taking you longer than what they expected. Oh my gosh. Some of you may have just decided to like do something different. This person may be angry that the order is all ruined with the Hierophant. Somebody's like really sensitive about you. They get really sensitive or, or very emotional about this loving relationship. You're very important to this person, but they're refusing or resisting to give you some sort of, um, I don't know, maybe a commitment or something that's solid. Hey, it's not going to work out. So this may be how they feel, or you may have told them that, or this may be your final decision with judgment. Somebody may have made a final decision that this is not going to work. I don't see the light. So this person may have lost faith or hope. And this is why they're like ignoring or this is why they're like um, kind of like blocked off with the two of swords as well. So this person is very pessimistic. They could be very dark with the jealousy and the hateful energy. So um, we're to the wise, right? Let's see what else they want to say. You're in my dreams. So they could be seeing you a lot. They could be, you know, really overthinking about what happened between the both of you. And it's kind of like spilling over into like their dreams. There could be nightmares here as well. Some of you, there's somebody coming into your dreams very sexually. Uh, I was wrong. I'm working on making it right. So for some of you, this person wants to step up or they're working on stepping up. You know, they could be driven by jealousy. They could be driven by, um, for some of you being spiteful. So it's like, they want to like level up now, or for some of you, this person has a point to prove for others of you. This person does have a point to prove you were very devoted or there's a lot of devotion here, even though this person is resistant. They feel very compelled to do something. So if you guys were playing a waiting game and you're just not stepping forward, this person is like losing it. They're losing their shits. <laughs> they want to do something very unconventional with the Hierophant. And, it, and it's, you know, the Hierophant is pointing to the lover's energy. So, you know, this person may want to do um, what it takes or to prove a point about why they resisted. They may want to like explain to you. They know what you deserve. This could be a very big spiritual lesson for this person. They got exactly what they deserve. And I, I don't think they're good with it. We have the chariot wanted to show. So this could be someone that's very emotional right now. They could be very reckless coming forward because, you know, they just want to, um, I don't know, like, come forward with a lot of speed or force we have life partner so you know what this person could feel like you're their person they have like this devotion this dedication with the hierophant even though it's a bit unconventional you guys may be you know fucking around trying to get each other jealous it, it's writing this person up this is a lesson of love or patience or um kindness as well this person feels, you feel very important to them, very permanent as well. We have Gemini with Libra, or this is very a good, a very good sex match here with Gemini. Libra could also be a Taurus involved, or there's a Taurus Aquarius with Sagittarius. 
vibes going on and that could be not just lovers but also like you know friends your sis your bra right spying coming back telling you the word or you know there are people coming back telling them the word we have heart awakening change of heart mm. yeah this person is like they their um their whole world is turned upside down when they found out something or you know they found out that you're at peace something got turned up for this person their heart like <laughs> spazzed out we have unprocessed emotional trauma so for some of you this person has a point to prove some of you this person is still acting or they're behaving like they're the victim and this is why they want to prove why your judgments is off this could also feel like your person or you could feel panic or trapped some of you could be by your friend and you're feeling like panicky because somebody's stalking you or you are afraid someone may take um vengeance on you all right so maybe you need to seek some help with that get some protection could be a restraining order here as well we have heart awakened wanting to come out again so this person is definitely going through a serious a major um life lesson about love about dedication devotion could even be about fidelity and it could be about how you know some sort of physical intimate or sexual relationship could really blossom into something so important life partner oh my god so something very sexual maybe this person was resistant ever being in a commitment or doing anything traditional or permanent maybe their life how it's set up they can't really get into a relationship but here you are with them and you know they may be going off their the edges a little bit because you're not giving in they could be very angry you seem to be unbothered but it's teaching this person about love in a very it could feel like it's stretching them, you know, stretching their heart chakra as well. They may not even want to feel and feelings may make them angry. And that could be because they have unprocessed trauma about being a victim, um, possibly of the laws or victims of we have here with the Hierophant. Your person could have been a victim of really um, negative or pessimistic role models in their culture in their beliefs something that was built or in in you know in um what what, what is that word um <laughs> something that was burnt into this person's belief has a lot to do with the way that they're um the things that they're choosing to do their values their personal beliefs in this lover's energy with you all right, so that may be something that this person is facing with the judgment and justice as well, you know, ignoring things. They could not, no longer ignore these unchecked emotions. Some of you are triggering this person's, um, maybe they had a lot of siblings or they was not getting enough attention from their peers, their, their parents, and it's like you're triggering that wound. All right, so just take that how it resonates. Something about a camp here. They got in trouble at a camp or they're always in trouble with authorities. This person, they're very rebellious. So, you know, they may get in trouble with the laws when they were younger or there were some problems. So somebody could be really regretting here. There's a lot of tens. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on my soul this could be somebody that's praying for the pain the sadness to leave some of you I feel like there's suicidal tendencies with the hangman energy somebody could be threatening to commit suicide because they're very sad as well or you know they're kind of like exaggerating not to like um, kind of like devalue or take away from anybody's pain and sadness but it could be very hysterical pretending okay so somebody may be pretending that they want to commit suicide or pretending that they want to do some harm because the hangman could signify doing some harm as well to, to oneself so somebody may be pretending because you know what they may be feeling like they're gonna get cut out or this is somebody's last attempt I was wrong and I'm working on making it right. This may be somebody's last attempt to kind of come through crying. 
to get a miss forever. So somebody's not letting you go. So I feel like if you guys play in this back and forth waiting game or you guys play games to make each other sad or mad, you guys may not be leaving each other. <laughs> Somebody may be just resisting you coming towards them or they feel like you're resisting because you know they ain't going nowhere. But somebody's heart and mind is balanced. Somebody has faith that, you know, they're going to have this destiny here. Together meets forever in a lover's energy. This person feels like you guys belong to each other. Some of you, this person may want you to know that you have nothing to worry about, even though they're indecisive on wh where to take uh, the direction of this, you know, this lover's energy. It's almost like they don't want you or you guys don't have nothing to be jealous about. But it's, I guess, part of how you feel about someone very deeply, you know. You don't want anybody else to have them. Wow. <laughs> You want to protect what's yours. All right. Somebody wants may want commitment, but they're refusing to come through. We have don't stop and we have romance. <laughs> so this may be a romantic situation. Some of you, you're being uh, guided or called to kind of keep going forward in life with the angel card. Um, your angels, your guardians. They don't want you to stop even though this person is your destiny. They're in um, a life lesson about karma with holding back as well, you know, making excuses and playing that victim. They have to face some unchecked wounds, all right? It's almost like they're standing in their own way and they have to face why they're doing that. We have reconsider. <laughs> so this person may be reconsidering why, you know, they're being so closed off. It's like they're thinking about it. What's going on with me? Let's get some more angel uh, confirmation or insights for you guys. And then we wrap it up and I get my ass in bed. This, so it is a romantic situation. That is so crazy. That card came out. So some love definitely grew here. Some feelings definitely blossom. I feel like this person feels inseparable. This could also feel like what this person is like already thinking about what people are going to be gossiping about. How many people is going to be angry when you guys like make it official or make it an announcement with the horrifying, like have some sort of ceremony or you know, you guys are going to show up to a ceremony and everybody's going to be so hot, so mad. That's wild. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to marry you and everybody's going to be blown away, eloping and stuff. All right, so let's see what your angels or your ancestors would like you to know about this romance and don't stop. Wow, so we have great teacher and we have the fire guardian. So this may be a very religious or spiritual experience but it could be highly spiritual and i did say that you know with the hierophant <clears throat> it's a spiritual it's like a deep soul spiritual lesson a deep soul level healing as well so i definitely feel like your person they could even be listening to a pastor or they're listening to sermons and they're getting a lot of strength from that as well <clears throat> yeah, so I definitely feel like whatever is happening with your person, with all of this karma, it's restoring some sort of balance in their heart and mind. It's restoring some faith. It's inspiring your person. These current events or experiences, is it's ex oh, geez. inspiring your person. I keep wanting to say expiring your person. Why? So your person may be um, very religious. They may believe, believe in Yahweh. Um, it's something about forgiveness and have mercy on my soul. We have the whole world in his hands. So something could be a link to Sunday school or church, or this is a pastor. They're listening to ser ser um, sermons. Uh, and it's inspiring your person. It's restoring their faith for some of you. For others of you, I feel like this, you're a great teacher or this love is a great teacher for this person. 
It's teaching them honor, discipline, dedication, devotion, having faith. Having faith or trust in things that you can't see. Um, I'm also feeling like if this person was skeptical about something, I feel like they're a believer. I'm hearing now, I'm a believer. So they believe in some sort of joy and peace. Learn from your spiritual experience. Is this card? Okay, so their prayers was answered. And now it's like faith and hope is being restored. I was blind and now I see with the two of swords. I'm just getting it, you guys. Yeah, so this was a great lesson for this person. They have gained a lot. Um, they could be really in this fire element or they're working with fire right now. Uh, that could be, you know, with candles or any type of rituals with fire energy to help it uh, kind of go fast ahead. So it could be some sort of spiritual practice with burning herbs here as well. You know, burning that frankincense, praying, meditating. Hmm. Um, oh, I feel like they were meditating on how to bring balance between the mind and heart, how to um, kind of like reconnect to parts of themselves that they may have pushed or been closed off from, from with the resistant and the strength card. So with the fire guardian, let me put that up. I feel like your person or you are going to be reconnected with your heart, your heart's desires, hey, your faith. And this is leading, this is going to lead to a beautiful romance, a very healing beautiful romance that's full of guidance in the lover's energy it's almost like you guys are it's like this match made in heaven type of vibe but had to go through hells to get there but it was worth it i feel like with the fire guardian energy it says ignite your passions so you're helping this person or meeting you or being with you is help this romance is helping this person to connect with their desires to go after it to stop being blind or sitting on the fence or denying how they feel um, I feel like with the fire guardian here, it's remind, it's coming out to remind this person of how powerful this passion could be and how encouraging it is for their spirit. Wow. All right. So when it comes to together meets forever lovers and the fire guardian, I feel like this is saying that you guys have a very strong, powerful, <sighs> spiritual and sexual connection here. It's like unmatched. It's, it's something that this person would go over the edge for. They would rise up. They would push themselves to learn some sort of lesson. It pushes this person on the edge with the world card. It's pushing this person or encouraging them, giving them this energy of wanting to be successful victorious with the world i want to give you the world you deserve it some of you this person may want to marry you and give their mom a daughter-in-law they feel like their mom deserves a daughter a daughter-in-law right <laughs> i'm trying to say it. i don't want to say it in my accent but a daughter-in-law right it's something about the wind something is going to change this person is going to have a sense of peace and joy and faith is going to be restored with the great teacher. Oh my gosh, I feel like I need to get some more messages. <laughs> this is serious. I mean, this person may have been resisting this connection for a while. Chariot, yeah, I feel like this person was doing the same thing over and over and now it's like they're overcoming possibly those unchecked emotions or trauma. You know what? They got reconnected with the desires that they once, you know, pushed away through you. You're helping them to do that. We have pregnancy, we have health issues, and we have children. So that may be factors. This person may also feel like... Um, health issues maybe stopping them we have pipe dreams coming out as as well so this person may feel may be feeling like they're wasting time 
with other people or you're wasting time with other people. Some of you, this person may be bored. Some of you, you could have kind of like decided to give yourself closure here with the world after some sort of pipe dreams or false start happened. Mm, I want to see what is this lover's energy? What is this lover's energy? What is this lover's energy? I hope you guys don't think that this person is giving you a false start when they return. That would be crazy. It says, I want to tell you the truth. Will you listen? So we have acceptance and clearing the air. So in this lover's energy, they want to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. It says, I don't have what it takes. Disappointed, unavailable. Mm, for some of you, this person is not with you right now. You guys are in a separation. Or again, this person is playing this waiting game. Oh, gosh. This person feels like... They can't do something here right now. It feels like it's right now and they are so freaking mad. We have bad mind, ill-minded, vengeance. So we have two cards talking about being vengeful and vengeance. Someone around you guys is very spiteful or somebody's person. I don't know. Why is they feeling so spiteful? <laughs> That's crazy. We have cleaning up and in training. Somebody's gaining some strength. Somebody's being practical. They're preparing for a rebirth. They're leveling up. All right, so somebody's cleaning up. They're picking up the pieces and they're cleaning up someone. Somebody says, I'd rather do this alone. So they know that they have to kind of level up on their own. You know, decisions. Can't I have best of both? Please don't pressure me. So somebody wants both lives. I feel like they're still the indecisive. Oh, it's somebody's divine masculine with the power of card. So they're having to kind of like elevate in their divinity. All right. This is what they're, this is somebody's divine masculine that has not yet um, stepped into their energy. All right. But it's happening. It's manifesting. Yeah, it's happening. This person is getting ready to fly. They're getting ready to have this rebirth. They're getting ready to come in peace and joy with the dove. Oh, my goodness. It's like they're going to be so liberated they feel free they're going to be feeling free in a minute it's taking longer than i thought it would oh my goodness i don't know <laughs> wow. somebody's wanting to call someone they're resisting calling you and they're like making up all of these stories it says don't interrupt their karma so Whatever you're doing, they have a history of doing this. Some of you have a past life history with this divine masculine. Very ancient love, hey. Lifetimes after lifetimes. Don't interrupt their karma person. Fall back. Yeah, this is something that they have to do alone. This breaking out of, I, can't, I don't have what it takes. I don't have what it takes. You's better off without me. There we go again with the power card. This is somebody's divine masculine. Really feeling it tonight. Wow. They're really feeling it tonight. Feeling their desires for you with the fire guardian. Oh my gosh. Look at them. They're playing the victim, you guys. They're sulking. They're like, oh, I wish you would talk to me the way you used to. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry, sorry. I wish you would talk to me the way you used to. Want me the way you used to. Love me the way you used to, but you don't. So I'm going to leave it there. My camera time is running out. Decisions. Oh my gosh, with the lovers and the two of swords, they are on the fence. They want whatever they have going on and still you and this connection. But again, it's putting a wedge, hey, this belief or this type of lifestyle. So yeah, big up on yourself. Like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. 
keep the lights on here on the hourglass check out the description box below if you want to hit that tip jar and i'm going to see you guys in another channel message chat to you guys later ciao